Hey guys, so I just posted my little life update video um, explaining kind of where I've been and what's been new this year so far. Um, in that video, I told you guys that I had my tubal reversal surgery in January of this year. I just wanted to make a little video talking about that um, because when I was preparing for the surgery there really wasn't a lot of um, like videos or anything to watch about people talking about their experience through the surgery so I just figured I would record one why not right so um, I'll kinda go to the beginning um, I had my tubes tied um, well, technically, um, cut and sealed uh, after my second daughter was born um, during my second C-section. Uh, the surgery itself, um, I think, highly contributed to my postpartum depression. After I had her, um, I think it was a lot of that mixed with just other things and stressing me out in my life. Um, yeah. So, uh, I just kind of always regretted it immediately, um, and it took a while to come to terms with the fact that I had done it, and that, um, in my mind, I was never going to have kids again, which, on one hand, was like a good thought, because I was in no place to ever have kids again at that time um, you know when I was going through my divorce and everything um, before I met my current husband uh, things were just really bad um, so yeah I met John my current husband and um, we eventually decided that we did want to try to have kids together and that we should try to have the, do the surgery and you know see how it goes um, the surgery was less expensive than attempting IVF. Um, so yeah, I uh, ended up choosing a doctor in Louisville, Kentucky, Dr. Levine. Um, he was fantastic, really, really nice. Um, it was super easy to set it all up um, over the phone and through emails and faxing and stuff. Um, so I never had to go to Louisville until the, my surgery, which was good because it was like six hours away. And so I think it was November when I scheduled it um, for January 15th. And uh, I tried to do as much research as I could um, about you know, how to get my body ready for that surgery, how I was going to feel afterwards, um, ways to increase my chances of getting pregnant afterwards, stuff like that. So when January finally came along, we left here um, on a Wednesday night because my surgery was scheduled for Thursday morning. And um, the really great thing about the doctor I had was included in the fee for the surgery was um, two nights in a really nice hotel right near the hospital. So we got there to the hotel the first night. I could not sleep. I was so nervous. Um, I was convinced I was going to die um, during the surgery. And I even like wrote out this like thing on a piece of paper like with my instructions of like what I want done if I you know if I <laughs> didn't come out of the surgery okay stuff like that and couldn't answer for myself I was really nervous um, so the next morning I woke up got to the hospital um, the only like real prep I had to do the night before was to take a shower and wash my whole body with like an antibacterial soap and to make sure I was like shaved um, on the parts of my stomach and 
like um, upper pelvic region that we're going to be cut into. So that was really the only prep I had to do the night before. That and no eating after midnight, which, you know, that's pretty typical. So I got to the hospital the next morning, and once I got back from the waiting room and back into, like, a prep room, um, they put a bunch of IVs in me with, you know, just fluids and stuff, and then the doctor came in and looked at my stomach, um, cause he wasn't sure which type of incision he was, incision he was going to have to use, um, because of my previous C-sections and such. Um, so he wanted to look at my stomach, and even after looking at my body and feeling my stomach, he really wasn't sure, uh, he said he wouldn't be able to decide until he was in the operating room. So, um... Yeah, I was just, like, really hopeful that I could get the, um, the horizontal, like, bikini cut, which I had with both my C-sections. I really didn't want the vertical cut up to my belly button, um, but I was prepared for it if I did need it. So, they gave me a bunch of medicine, one of which kind of made me loopy, um, and then the next thing I knew, um... I kind of remember getting wheeled back towards the operating room, uh, but barely. And then the next thing I knew, I was waking up um, in recovery. And the doctor said that my surgery went really well. Um, I had really good remaining tube length afterwards, um, that I would have a really high percentage of... Um, conceiving afterwards and I did end up with the bikini horizontal cut which was fantastic he did say I had a lot of scar tissue um, but I think that's pretty common with two c-sections so yeah um, I was starting to feel some pain so I they had me take some painkillers before I left the hospital and then they gave me you know a bunch to take with me so we went back to our hotel. Um, by the time we got back to the hotel, I was in a lot of pain. Um, the painkillers pretty much only took the edge off of the pain. Um, and I'm talking like pain that was worse than both of my C-sections combined. It was bad. I couldn't walk. Um, I, I could barely eat dinner that night because of the... My throat hurt so bad from having the tube down my throat to help me breathe during surgery. Um, so yeah, I was really uncomfortable. Um, didn't sleep very good that night either. The next morning I went to my dad's. Um, he's kind of was the halfway point between the hospital and home. So we went there and stayed there for the weekend just to kind of let me recover a little more before we did the whole ride home. I was in a ton of pain that whole weekend. Um, did start walking, but could not walk upright. I had to, like, be bent over with a pillow pressed against my stomach and um, had to have either somebody helping me or had to use, like, a walking stick, um, which luckily my dad had some. And, yeah, so we went home after that weekend. It took a few weeks for me to really start feeling normal in any way um it it was really painful it was brutal um I was expecting it to be easier than my c-sections but it wasn't it was harder um more painful a longer recovery um I just wasn't expecting it I think that's um what threw me off the most is that I just was unprepared for the recovery uh but once I did recover, you know, we started being able to try to conceive um, six weeks later, which I was comfortable enough to do so. Um, I was walking and able to just live normally again by that point. So we started trying to conceive end of February. And on March 13th, I got my 
first positive pregnancy test. And I took one two days later just to make sure, and then I took one another day later after that, and they were all positive. So the surgery worked. Um, it was definitely worth the recovery and the brutality of it all um, because, you know, I just, I guess I was expecting um, the actual attempt at getting pregnant to take longer. I don't think either of us were expecting to end up pregnant our first cycle trying, but we did, and it was fantastic. Um, I'm not going to get into, like, my pregnancy up to this point in this video. Um, this was just kind of my surgery video. Uh, the next video is going to be pregnancy from positive test up until now, which is 18 weeks. So, yeah. I hope you guys um, found this video at all interesting. Um, I just kind of wanted to share my little surgery story on what got us here to having this baby. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Bye.